I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The reason it's called that is because every time you make a decision during the Charleston, it creates a chain reaction. So we're going to look at a dealt hand, pick a plan A and a plan B. We'll do one at a time and compare results. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be player one for this exercise. We'll get 14 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a West White Red Dragon, one, two, three, nine in BAMs, two, five, seven, nine in cracks, two, three, five in dots. We have no multiples. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on 2-3 as the predominant pattern here. We have all the 2s. We have 2-3s and a white dragon, so maybe a year hand or 1-2-3 consecutive run. There is some potential for little odds, so let's let that go. Actually, we need to take a photo because we've got to recreate this. All right, so we'll let that go with the big numbers. Let's do a seven and a nine. So I'm thinking either a year hand, little odds, or one, two, three. Probably, one, two, three of some kind would be the most flexible. So let's call that plan A and a year hand or like numbers with twos as plan B. So we're going to try one, two, three of consecutive run and it might go up to five. Here's a four. Oh, we need to take a photo. Don't forget to take a photo, unless you have a photogra photographic memory. So we have a four, the nine can go. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. We'll take a photo. We have another four. We have two Norths. I think the red dragon can go, and then we need to let one tile go. We have one, two, three, four, two, four, five, two, three, five. Let's see, no multiples yet. Four, five. We have two, three, two, three, four, five. Let's let this one go. We'll take a photo. I wouldn't pass like numbers. Take a photo. Here's a three, that's our first multiple. We have a four, another multiple. Three, four consecutive multiples. So I would reassess. Why does it look like, seems like we have too many tiles, but okay, we have two sixes we don't need. Here's a three and a four. Three, four, 
two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. That's a hand with no gaps. Three, four, two, three, four, nope, wrong suit. I was thinking one, two, three, four, five, but this is the wrong, wrong one. Two, three, four, five, four crack, two, three, four, four, five can go, and then maybe, maybe this two, or actually, let's do this two. Okay, one of each suit. Take a photo. We have a four, two, three, four, four, five, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, we have tiles we can pass. So we really don't even have to figure anything else out. This was the last pass. We have a one. One, two, three, four, four. If we had flowers, we could maybe do two, three, four, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We really didn't use this. So I think in the optional, I would pass those three. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's pass these three. Okay, no keepers. So we have four discards and a couple of options. Two, three, four, five, no gaps. One, two, three, four, bam, five, crack. So really we have four, five, about seven discards, which is terrible. So that was very challenging. Even though we have a good predominant pattern, it's very strong, we really wouldn't pick a hand here because we could even do one, two, three, four and let that go. So I would just wait to pick a hand, but I'd say we probably have about seven discards with whatever hand we end up playing. So I'm gonna reset and see if either a year hand or like numbers is better. So we started with, we're going to look at maybe a year hand or maybe like numbers. We have no flowers for like numbers, so I'm thinking a year hand. There are some big odds in here. Five tiles. Five tiles, but we have only one seven. We have three twos and two threes. I think this has a stronger potential. Maybe we keep the one for one, two, three. So let's pass west, five, nine. Okay, we have no keepers. We did pick up a four, one, two, three, four. Let's pass five, let's see here, six, seven, nine. North. Okay, let's see, four. Let's break up the Norths. Hold on. Five, oh, three, five. There's a, this is isolated, so let's pass it. Sixes and a North. Let's pass these three. Three, four. 
I think this hand really wanted to be consecutive. Okay, we're going to break that up. Two, three, two, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, let's see. Two, three, four. One, two, th one, two, three. Hmm. Let's let the one bam go. A four dot. Three, four, three, four, four. Two, three. Really, it doesn't matter. We have tiles we can pass. One dot. One, two, three, four. Two, four, two, three, four. Discards here. I don't think I would pass that for optional though. I think I would pass that, but we need one more tile. Probably the two. I don't think the year hand really worked, although we could still do a year hand. We could do two, maybe the first hand, two bam, white dragon, two, three. There is potential there. We don't have any flowers. And we don't, well, we do have one wind if we do play a year hand. One, two, three, four, no gaps. Four crack. One, two, three, four, four, two, two, three, four, four. If we get flowers, we could do two, three, four, four. I think this hand just really was optimized for consecutive run. Let's pass the east. Okay, five dot. Oh, well, there's one through five. North, seven. So now we have three discards and options. And again, all consecutive run. So I wouldn't pick a hand here. Although if we get flowers, I'd probably try for two, three, four, four. I think the potential is about equal, but the hand definitely was optimized for consecutive run. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. Mahjong is a very flexible game and it's forgiving. If you're unable to make your plan A, remember plan B and make it work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.